Emil, huge congratulations on the new contract. Just tell us what it means to you to have signed it. Uh, it means so much to me, you know, I've been waiting for this moment and, you know, to carry on playing for this, for this club, it means so much to me and I'm so happy. Your performances last season obviously created a lot of interest around you. Um, so what factors did you have to think about when you were considering this next step of your career? Um, I feel like I don't really have to think about it too much. You know, I've been at the club since I was, since I was 10 years old. Um, so yeah, for me, it was just about carrying on with this club. And yeah, like I said, I'm really happy. So yeah. So it was an easy decision in the end? Yeah, it was an easy decision, yeah. As you say, you've been here since you were just 10 years old. What a journey it's been so far and this next chapter is going to be hopefully the most exciting yet. Yeah, definitely. I hope so. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy journey. You know, like I said, being here since 10 years old and going, going through the ranks with loads of teammates and stuff along the way. And yeah, finally putting pen to paper to a long term deal is something that I've, I've been waiting to do. And just tell us a little bit about that journey you've taken because everybody known about you for a long time certainly a lot of fans have known about you as you come through the the ranks but there must have been difficult times as well challenges you've faced yeah of course i feel like it's been a definitely an up and down journey you know i've had a lot of downs with injuries and stuff and you know i feel like i've i've had a lot of experience going out on loan and stuff so um yeah it's definitely been a been a hard one but i'm really happy to to commit my future to arsenal and looking ahead to the future what, what challenges have you you set yourself uh, going forward um, you know, I feel like I don't really try to set any challenges going forward. I try to keep moving forward game by game and stuff and see how it goes. Um, I don't like to put too much pressure on myself, but um, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be a big season ahead for me and the team as well. And what about the coaching team and uh, Mikel and the others? What have they said to you? What do they want to see from you this season especially? Um, you know, the manager always wants me to score more goals. I think that's important for the position that I play in. So, um, yeah, I just want to try and score and create more goals for the team. I think that will help us majorly. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to focus on, definitely, in training as well. You set yourself some pretty high standards with your performances last season. You must be looking forward to, to doing that again uh, this season, but it's going to be a bit different, hopefully, with full house at Emirates. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm buzzing, to be fair, you know. It's never, never the same without the fans and stuff, but... Um, yeah, I can't wait to walk out on that pitch and see all the fans in, in the full stadium, so yeah. And will it be a bit different? Because last year you sort of burst onto the scene. It wasn't your first season, but it was your breakthrough season. Maybe it took a few people by surprise. You're not taking anyone by surprise this season. Is there going to be a bit more responsibility on your shoulders, do you think, to do that and to maybe lead the team in a creative sense? I think definitely there's always going to be pressure for us. But um, of course, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm going to be... I'm going to be ready for sure and yeah, I can't wait to meet all the fans and stuff and yeah, it's definitely a definitely pressure that I'm going to take on. And is that something that you've had going back to your, your youth career that you were a player that the rest of the team looked to? If you play in that number 10 position, you've got to be the creative leader, haven't you? Yeah, 100%. You know, everyone knows that number 10 is a big shirt and definitely a big position as well. So um, yeah, I'm buzzing to be honest. I can't wait to get on the pitch. And it's not just you, there's lots of young players coming through and I'm really making their mark in this Arsenal squad. What sort of atmosphere does that lead to when you've got a, a real nucleus of young players that know each other so well, have grown up together and have got that hunger and ambition together? Yeah, I think it makes it that so much better for us, you know, all, all growing up together and getting a chance to play for the first team um, together as well on the pitch. So, yeah, it just makes it that little bit more sweeter for us, you know, and yeah, we want to carry on doing it together. A new contract, a new number. So what does that mean to you? How special is it to have that Arsenal number 10 shirt? Yeah, it's really special. I can't explain, you know, the, the feeling um, when I found out. Yeah, I haven't really got words to explain it right now, but um, yeah, I'm really happy. Is that something you dreamed about when you were younger? If you could picture yourself in an Arsenal shirt, was it always the number 10 shirt? Yeah, 100%. And obviously, you know, the legends that I've played here and recently won the shirt, you know, I can't really... <laughs> it's a bit too much right now, but I'm sure I'll calm down after a while. Yeah, I mean, Dennis Bergkamp, Jack Wilshere, Robin Van Persie, Mesut Ozil, all players that have filled that number 10 shirt. Who did you look up to as a young fan? Um, so, yeah, when I was younger, I used to watch, you know, Dennis Bergkamp. And uh, when I was going through the academy, you know, Mesut Ozil was here as well. And, you know, getting an opportunity to train with him. And, you know, I got the opportunity to play with him as well. So that was unbelievable. Um, but, yeah, I just want to keep working hard. And, you know, hopefully I can play like them and, you know, replicate what they've done.
and we've spoken about fans coming back. So when, when you're at the Emirates next and you look around and you might see, you catch sight of a fan wearing a, a Smith Row 10 shirt, what's that going to feel like? Yeah, that's going to feel amazing, man. I can't wait to see that. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna try to think about it too much. I'm just going to wait and see, see what happens. So yeah, I can't wait. And when we interviewed you a couple of years ago, I think you said your dream is to, to become a legend here. I could see myself becoming a one-club man if everything works out. Well, everything seems to be working out so far. I mean, is that still the plan? Yeah, 100%, you know. I've said that, like you said in the interview, and, you know, I mean it. I mean it definitely. So, yeah, I can't wait to carry on playing for this wonderful club and, yeah, we'll see what happens.